Today on the Appalachian Heritage Workshop, learn how to make a cradle for your special newborn. Let's go back to my shop and I'll show you how to build a cradle similar to this one. Now if you remember, the original cradle had a bridle joint on the post where the post went onto the rockers. It's a very strong joint. It's stronger than a mortise and tenon, so that's what I'm going to use. Now I've sanded and rounded over all the edges. So now I'm ready to glue it up. I'm using a piece of tape to hold that in place until I actually get the clamp on it. And I like using a little brush to spread it around. A loose mortise and tenon is easy to assemble. It just takes a little bit of time just to line the dominoes or the tenon up with the mortise. Now that I've got the finials installed, now I can put the rockers on the bottom. Here's the finished child's cradle. It turned out really nice. I especially like the butternut post, which enhanced the walnut turn knobs. Just check out our website, AppalachianHeritageWoodshop.com. Remember, be proud of your Appalachian heritage.